What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. What's going on with this Christmas music? Let's get this out of here. Is it in the mall? All right, that's better. But that brings us to today's subject, which is going to be five, I think five, maybe six, but some amount of holiday gifts for the hacker or geek in your life. Or they could be for you. Honestly, I want pretty much all of these things. Some of them I do already have. However, there's a bunch of stuff I really want. Also, make sure to stick around to the very end because we've got a giveaway. And if you just skip forward to the end, I will know. It is the holiday season and you don't want to be put on the naughty list. But anyway, let's take a look at some really cool tech that would be an absolutely great addition to anybody's arsenal. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be taking a look at is gonna be the HackRF1 by Great Scott Gadgets. Now the HackRF is actually a software defined radio that can send and receive frequencies from one megahertz all the way up to six gigahertz. Now the HackRF can actually act similarly to the Flipper Zero where it can emulate you know, car remotes, uh, alarm systems, garage doors, things like that. But with the frequency range from one megahertz to six gigahertz, the possibilities are so much greater. It's also got GPS manipulation. It can block, manipulate, or adjust GPS information for any location-aware device. It's got Bluetooth sniffing, so it can sniff, capture, and analyze Bluetooth or BLE signals. It's also got advanced RFID analysis, where it can communicate with any RFID tag regardless of its frequency. And since it's a software-defined radio, you can capture and sniff almost anything it's traveling over the airways, satellites, air traffic, Pretty much anything. Now, if we pair that with the PortaPak and Mayhem firmware, then we have an on the go with a screen and buttons device, kind of like the Clipper Zero, but way more powerful. So if you are or know someone who's super into radio frequency testing, the HackRF with PortaPak is the way to go. Now, if you want to know the way to go when it comes to PCB printing, 3D printing, or any sort of cool electronic gadgets, that brings us to today's sponsor. PCB Way. Hey, I've said it once and I will say it again. PCB Way is absolutely the best when it comes to 3D printing, PCB creation, assembly, pretty much anything you could need for any of your creation projects. Their module store is absolutely chock full of really, really cool stuff. They've got products from Arduino, Raspberry Pi, they've got TFT screens, they've got gadgets, STEM toys. They have so much cool stuff. And for the rest of the month, they are running a Christmas promotion that has up to 50% off and over $400 in coupons. So don't wait. Check out PCBWay.com to finish whatever project you've been working on. And hey, maybe you'll even get some holiday shopping done. Thank you as always for PCBWay for their continued support. Let's get back at it. All right, so our next item is going to be the OMG plug. Now, if you caught my video where I showed off the OMG cable, you'll know how many cool things this thing does. Now, the OMG plug is kind of like a rubber ducky on steroids. The OMG plug can actually create its own Wi-Fi signal, and then you can control it remotely, making the possibilities so much greater than just a rubber ducky. While the OMG cable was actually used to replace someone's cable, this is just kind of a standalone device allowing you to get in and get out. Now, just like its brother, the OMG cable, the OMG Elite plug has keyboard and mouse injection and can have up to 200 payload slots depending upon configuration. It can transmit up to 890 keys per second, which is lightning fast. It also features geofencing, Wi-Fi triggers, port stealthing, and self-destruct. This message will self-destruct. Got it, Chief. I've had an absolute blast playing around with my Elite Cable, so if you want one of these, check them out at Hack5, link down below in the description. I'll have links for all of the devices featured today down in the description. Speaking of Hack5, that brings us to our next gadget, which is going to be the Bash Bunny. Now, the Bash Bunny Mark II is another rubber ducky adjacent device, but it does so much more. The Bash Bunny runs payloads using hot plug attacks because it can emulate trusted USB devices. Not only can it emulate HID or human interface devices like keyboards and mice, it can also emulate mass storage devices, ethernet devices, serial devices. What's even cooler, it can do all of those at the same time. That paired with the onboard SD card, which can take up to a two terabyte SD card, means you can exfiltrate an entire drive's worth of data. It also has Bluetooth, so it can be controlled with your phone or literally any Bluetooth device. You can set up a trigger so any innocuous Bluetooth device, once it becomes either in range or if you, you know, activate a button on it, it will drop your payload. It's super cool. 
how does it do it? Well, it's got a quad core A7 GPU that runs up to 1.3 gigahertz. It's absolutely crazy. It actually runs a Debian based distro of Linux. This little guy is crazy powerful. So if you know anybody who likes messing around with Ducky Script or hot plug attacks, Bash Bunny Mark II is the perfect thing for them. That brings us to our next device, which honestly is one of the most interesting IoT devices I've seen in a long time. That device is the M5 Stack. I've got mine right here. It's actually running Hash Monster at the moment. Sorry, guys, I forgot to uh, charge it beforehand, so it's plugged in, but my fault. But yeah, check them out. This is actually running Hash Monster, if this will ever focus. All right, with a little bit of readjusting. Yeah, it's running Hash Monster right now, which is effectively kind of like a Ponegachi. It's super, super cool, and this guy's over here testing my Wi-Fi. What's also cool is in the back here, if we flip it around, we can see it's actually got pretty much, it's a Lego Technics interface. This whole thing clips across, it clips on and off, and it's got some more Lego stuff here, and then all of the cool IO. Now this little guy actually runs off an ESP32. However, it's got so many more cool things to it. It's got a nine axis IMU or an inertial measurement unit sensor. So it knows exactly where it is and what rotation it's in. It's also got three buttons, a speaker, and a 320 by 240 screen. It's got an onboard SD card slot, which will take up to a 16 gig SD card. And it also supports multi-platform development, including MicroPython. But here's where it gets really fun. The M5 stack is developed as a platform to build off of. You can go to their module section and they have a module for everything. I'm not even kidding. Like literally they have a module for everything. RS-232, they've got RCA audio, they have display outputs, air quality modules, like literally the possibilities are completely endless and it's all modular. So there's really not a whole lot you have to do except plug it in and let's go. Honestly, if you really don't know what to get, that one tech enthusiast in your life, the M5 stack is a great option because no matter what they want to do, the M5 can probably do it. From thermal sensing to LoRa, the M5 stack is pretty much the Swiss army knife of IoT devices. It can do virtually anything. Now, speaking of ESP32 based devices and LoRa, that brings us to our next gadget, which is going to be the LilyGo T-Deck. Now, I've wanted one of these things for a long time now. It's super cool. It's an ESP32. It's got a TFT screen on it. It's got a little mouse nubbin, and it's got a full size, I mean, mini size, but it's got a full keyboard. Now, obviously, being an ESP32 based device with a TFT screen and keyboard, the possibilities for what you can do with it are virtually endless. There's so many great possibilities and so many great projects built around the ESP32 platform. Now, one of the things that I'm super interested in when it comes to the T-Deck is the usage of LoRa. And no, we're not talking about LoRa from accounting. No, LoRa means basically just long range, and it's a long range radio frequency communication system. Now, using LoRa and open source projects like MeshTastic or MeshCom, you can use LoRa to communicate with different devices really, really far away. What's super cool about LoRa is it's entirely decentralized. There are no routers or anything like that necessary, and you can have encrypted end-to-end -end conversations miles and miles away. Now, depending upon environmental factors, in urban areas, LoRa is known to work up to three miles, and in rural areas, up to 10 miles. What's even cooler about LoRa is the more devices you have, the more distance you can get out of them, because you can effectively create a mesh network where it hops from device to device. Apparently, the record was set by KBox Lab at 157 miles with support for up to 80 nodes. I mean, the amount of space you can cover with these devices is crazy, and you can just get basically small devices and just use them as repeaters. Which actually brings us to our kind of bonus gadget, which is the LilyGo T-Echo. I swear, everything LilyGo makes is super cool. Like, I'll take one of everything. Now, the LilyGo T-Echo is basically built off of what they had done before with the T-Beam, and really specifically made around mesh communication. Now, this thing is a mesh-tastic monster, and it's got multi-satellite GPS built into it from the get-go. With an 850 milliamp hour battery, a 200 by 200 pixel e-ink display, it's even got a front light on it so you can read it in the dark. If you need a LoRa device, the LilyGo T-Echo is by far one of the best options out there. I swear, I've only recently gotten into LoRa, but the more I look into it, the cooler it is. So I'm definitely going to start collecting these devices. So yeah, that's five or six devices for anybody who loves tech. Make sure to check the description. We'll have links for everything we covered here. Thanks for watching. And that brings us to today's giveaway. We are on our Discord. We're going to be giving away one of the Make It Hackin' 
flipboards. Now, if you'll remember our last video where I showed these off, the flipboard is actually such a cool platform and it has a lot of functionality already. It's just kind of a, a fun thing to have. Plus, Code All Night, Derek Jameson, is actually making an entire series to help you learn how to code for it. If you want an opportunity to win one of these yourself, all you got to do is subscribe, log on to our Discord, and go to the broadcast channel. Right up there, you'll see the giveaway. Click the giveaway bot, and you'll be entered to win. Thank you, as always, for watching. You guys are absolutely the best. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out a ton. We're at 38,000 subscribers already. It's only been a year, and we just hit 2 million views. You guys are absolute legends, and I can't thank you enough. We'll catch you next time.